Pepper says, are you ready to declutter another section of this hoarded back shed? I know, I'll be inside because I'm an indoor cat. Hello everyone and welcome back to A Hoarder's Heart. For today, we are back in this shed to declutter another section of it. It is sunny, it is 60 degrees, so a little chillier than last week, but not as bad. Again, I want this all cleaned out and organized by the time it's summer when it's hot and humid and like 90 degrees. No one wants to be out here sweating when it is that hot. Now, the first thing that hubby's going to do is he's going to be getting all of the scrap metal that's in the front corner of the shed and in the back. That way we open up this side and I can finally finish decluttering this section. So without further ado, let's get started. So camera shy hubby is going to start off by pulling out all of the metal pieces out of the shed. And I'm just gonna show glimpses of what he's doing. And very quickly, he emptied out the front corner. This is all emptied out and looking really good. And he already started pulling stuff from the back. That way I can get to the shelves this episode and also the back wall. Now he took our umbrella and our patio carpet to the front because we're gonna be putting that out very soon. And he has been transporting the metal from the back to the front using this old wheelbarrow. And now GP is full to take everything to the scrapyard. So now let's get back in here so we can start decluttering. It did really open up this back space, but there's still some leftover things here from hubby that he's not taking to the scrap metal. So we'll just have to go through that. He was afraid to take the kerosene heater, so we'll put that on the curb and see if anybody wants that. Same with this piece right here. He didn't take it, I don't know if he saw it because there was too much plastic on it, but it's definitely a tossy tossy. Okay, so let's move on to the shelves. Now, I have to move a couple of stuff before I can really get in there. Like this trailer is really, really heavy, so I'm just gonna scooch it over as much as I can so I can get to it. Now there's gonna be a lot of my gardening stuff here. Now this, we can actually let that go, but these pots, I'm going to reuse them and probably like make them look a little nicer, spruce them up. I do have some garden ornaments and stuff that are new and I need to use. I want to say that I love gardening almost as much as I like crafting. It's it's almost like I'm crafting with nature's supplies when I create a garden. And these pots, I actually picked them up when someone was throwing them out a few years ago and never had a chance to craft them. But guess what? We have the time now. I finally have the time to finish all these DIY projects that I wanted to do to create the garden that I've been dreaming of. So this is very similar to actually decluttering crafts and creating a crafting area. Instead, it's a garden crafting area, if you will. I kind of like the idea of that. Now that can is almost done, so I kind of want to use it up really quick so I can finish the can and throw it out so when I took a break, I would work on that pot. Now this bag right here, this has stuff that would be hubby's and he has to make the decision on what he's going to do with that. And honestly, it's kept in the garage. So I did ask hubby about this piece last week and it does go to his lawnmower, so that is a keep. Now, here are some things that I tried crafting years ago. We're talking pre-COVID with things that I had. I don't know, I feel like we can still kind of craft it into something. I have a couple of ideas, but for now, we just gotta clean this area up. That way it's all cleared out. Now, this came with the house and I have absolutely no idea what it is. So if you know, that'd be great if you can let us know. And these again, go to hubby's lawnmower. And the next shelf is pretty empty with these garden shelf racks and also a bungee cord. All these things just need to be organized. And on the bottom is hubby's hoarded wood. I would say this is where he saves everything because of the price of wood, which is fine. What we can do now is focus on what we can make decisions on. And that is this over here. This is a plant stand that I had in college. One of my first ones in the apartment. We had a balcony because we were upstairs. 
and I loved this thing. It was so pretty and I kind of want to spray paint it and bring her back to life this year. Another thing I found was another shepherd's hook. I'm so happy. I almost feel like that I'm at Home Depot right now and picking out things I need for the garden this year. I mean, sure, we got to do a little DIY to it, but this is really exciting for me. And I'm just going to take this moment to sweep up this section. Now to get to the next shelf, I have to clear out this spot. Here's what was kind of left over from the scrap metal haul. He didn't take it, but I just, I need to move it out of the way. So these are his old amplifiers. I think I'm just gonna put them in the garage for now because I don't know what he wants to do with it. Same with these tools. I'm not sure why they got left behind, but we're just moving stuff out of the way for now. So let's move on to this white shelf now. Starting at the top, I can see something that I love and I was not able to use in a while because I couldn't reach it. Again, I'm excited to use it for this year. But this right here, this is a tossy tossy. I'll normally replant baskets every year, but I don't need this one. Same with this white basket, we can let it go. What I normally do is I'll create my own hanging baskets with the flowers that I buy in a flat, but I already have two saved from last year. Now this grass seed, it's old, but we have a spot that needs it. So why don't we just sprinkle it out and see if we get grass? I mean, who knows? The golf balls, we can totally let this go. The bungee cord, I just realized that we need to have them organized once we get the shelving up. And this tool looks like a hedge cutter. So this is hubby's, this is obviously gonna be a keep. And this piece of metal looks like it was left behind by accident, no big deal. We'll put it to the curb. And the hose, I, mm, clearly it's been sitting here for a while, but I wanna go through all our garden stuff first before I make a decision to let it go. Same with this, the fabric and there's edging. There's a new section that we wanna till out to create a vegetable garden in. And once we're completely done with the garden, that's when I'm gonna feel more comfortable of, okay, we didn't use it, so let's let this stuff go. And moving along over here, we have a street cone that I used to put out in the street when my boys would ride their bikes and their scooters because people would tend to fly down our road. So just for safety, I would have it. Now this blue thing is an old motor to a blow up house that we had for the kids. So that's a tossy tossy. And you know what? I mean, I know we're gonna be able to let this go too. This looks like a car jack. So that's gotta go back into the garage. And I just, I'm curious what this stuff underneath of it is. This looks like metal, again, garage and paper. This is an absolute tossy tossy. Now, if I move to the other cone, guess what we have? Tomato cages, isn't that wonderful? They're brand new, they're colorful, and I don't have to go buy any new ones this year for our new garden that we're planning on making. Now, these balls used to go to the little bounce house that they had, and also the trampoline. So I'm gonna ask the boys what they wanna do with this. Okay, we're getting closer to the back corner. This is promising. This lid, I mean, this is an easy tossy tossy. And this is hubby's old baseball bag from when he was a teenager. So again, he's got to make this decision on what to do with it. Okay, looking at this back corner, I mean, honestly, everything here can go like the golf clubs. I mean, I guess the axes, I'll tell hubby if he wants to get rid of them. But he's probably going to end up keeping the blower because this does go to his tool that he has for the yard. And I see some baseball equipment hidden back here instead of being in the front. So this is a helmet right here, a catcher's helmet. And it looks like this is an old bag. Like, okay, we can totally let these cleats go. My boys have outgrown this. And the helmet, I gotta see if it fits them still. And underneath I can see some tossy tossy surprises that we can let go of. This is the instructions to their playground that was built in 2016. That is crazy that we still have it back there. So I'm just trying to move these chairs out of the way, get this extension cord. I know hubby is going to want to keep this. And this looks like it goes to roofing. Um, I kind of want to let this go. I really don't feel like we need to hold on to it. And I just want to give this section a quick little sweep because my goodness, there's a ton of dirt over here. All right, so probably want make, <laughs> I can't even talk. So I'm probably making one of the hardest decisions in my life and that's to let go of this baby stroller. This was Brandon's and I also used it for Tyler. 
and I took them on many, many, many walks and trips and adventures in this thing. But that was over 10 years ago. Tyler just turned 12. So as much as I'm attached to it, as much as I have a sentimental strings wrapped around it, if you will, reminding me of them when they were babies, there's something inside of me that's like, it's okay to let it go. It's okay to give it away. It's, it's, it's time. It's time. I've had it a decade past its prime. So we're gonna let it go and we're gonna have closure to it. I'm so grateful that I had this stroller with my babies and the amazing memories that I had in it. But I, I also do have pictures of it too. So when they were little, so it's time. It's time to let it go. And with that huge emotional decision, I knew my heart was done decluttering the shed at that moment. This is the Tossy Tossy Pile. And a lot of this is going to get given away, recycled as best as it can. I'm going to put a lot of it on the curb and let people know that there's scrap metal and different things that they can pick up. But we did good. We got rid of a lot of stuff. Now, this is what the shed looks like with the lawn mower out. And you can see we definitely really opened up this back space over here. But even with the lawn mower in there, you can still tell a difference. You can actually walk around and get to the back still. It's been a couple of years since I've been able to walk back here without tripping over stuff. We can actually get to the shelves over here. They're nice and open. And the floor space is nice and open. There is a clear path if you want to go outside. Now for next week, we're going to be starting in this section over here, working our way towards the back. We are almost at the finish line, and I am so incredibly excited to get there with all of you. And my hope and my prayer is that this video motivated and encouraged you to declutter, clean, and let go of something in your home today too.